Hey Niklas, welcome to Fatech. We are this time starting in our clean room and really thank you very much for coming again. I think it's now the fourth time since 2013 you visited our company and from there we developed a lot. And so you have the, we allow you first time to come into our clean room and we have this is quite a very special clean room. We really are world market leader in meantime in large formats optical bonding. So, so this is basically the secret and the heart of our um, company. And we will, um, um, I will explain you more, more about it. I think I can talk a little bit about my experience in China. I mean, I'm now 10 years in China. So I hope for all your viewers, we can have something like a half an hour, 40 minutes interesting um, groundwork. What you see here is, and we invested the last year over $1 million into, into this area, our clean room. You, you now walk into a class 100 um, room. Um, where we have no more dust particles and we do here um, um, a touch panel bonding um, for, uh, for a large Chinese um, point of sale company. And uh, what we do is that we fill up the gap between um, the touch panel and the panel by a see-through liquid uh, glue and uh, with that um, the um, quality of the picture is, is highly and uh, big improved. And I have to say th that's for sure crazy. When you came the first time 2013, overall we had 70 people. Now up to 70 people are just in this room where, where we um, um, do three things. We do the optical bonding. We used 100 tons of glue this year to fill up the gap between the touch panel and panel. I show you later the products. And uh, this is all happening here. And um, so, so we do here module bonding, so we need first um, uh, sealing the display and then what you said with, with our machines, we have a complete, complete <laughs> uh, <laughs> filling up the air gap. Here you see now um, uh, behind this is a um, temperature room, we, we can have also a look in. Yeah. Yeah. Niklas, Niklas looks everywhere always, yeah. huh? so let, let's go shortly in here. So I, I can tell you um, the, the process. So what happens is um, the goods um, start um, there. We, we um, check them, prepare them, then um, glue is dispensed. Um, here the cover glass and um, um, panel is, is bonded. And then we have at the end um, the um, so-called aging where, where the glue dries up. It's a silicon AB glue. When this is finished, we, we, we go over to the room for, for packaging and, and checking one more time. What is and this? We, um, is it a big piece of glass? Um, no, these are, um, this are the tables and okay, I, I can explain yeah. you in details. So for large formats, when you have, um, we, we do a so-called um, um, wet process and so um, glue runs over and it's um, taken here off that there is no mess up on, on, the, um, on the floor. And uh, that's one of small things we took care in, in our process. Right now we just produce, I, I mean, okay, you see it for, for Hisense, I think this year we produced already for them 20,000 um, touch panels and optical bondings. And for sure the special thing is... What is this machine over there? Well, right, what you see here, this is our invention. Um, um, uh, with this machine we can um, optically bond up to 100 inches and uh, they are now um, making tests and preparation. You today, invented this? Today we just have uh, small bondings. We are the only company um, from 2017 on which invented the uh, process to optically bond large formats um, um, touch panels to, to panels. So what does and it do by going back and forward there? And uh, what, what we do is that we put the glue, glue on it. Um, I can we, um, I, I can explain you shortly. Let's go over there and I explain you what we do on the machine. And all these tables get stuff put on it and stuff and goes in there. So what, what is um, the idea is that um, here is our um, touch panel production and I, I can go over. So you have a cover glass, right? Let's, let's take one here. You have a cover glass and um, uh, a sensor. And what we produce here is, uh, we test here that we um, put the cover glass on the touch sensor and we fill it up with a see-through glue. And when you then put this to a panel, 
Um, in normal productions, and I show you this in the products, you have an air gap and when um, um, light goes um, from glass to air to glass, you have a lot of reflections. And we fill up this um, um, gap with a see-through glue, what we do there. And by this, um, the quality of the um, picture um, um, improves dramatically. So, we What's have here, here our um, foil cutting machine where we prepare, this is an FCA process where we prepare the foil to, to bond and laminate the cover glass to the touch sensor. And this makes us so unique um, right now. We focus on industrial touch devices and uh, we are able to produce really everything in small quantities, perfectly tailored um, for the customer. And we, we start already that we um, design the touch controller, that we design the touch sensor, and then for the customer we can offer to give him any cover glass solution like, like he wants. What are they doing here? Inspecting the, right. the quality of each each panel? It's basically in, in this room all all is about dust. So so in this area we have still a class 1000 and we have to make secure that there are absolutely no dust particles between um, the glasses because for sure um, the dust particle you would see later. And here she prepares now um, the touch sensor and the cover glass. And here, here they assemble it and then write exactly. It goes from, from the preparation and assembly, it goes to these two machines where, just for your information, where we produce now per year around 100,000 units. And um, this is a so-called um, um, vacuum temperature machine. So, so um, under um, heat and uh, um, vacuum, the um, liquidity, uh, the foil goes liquid and um, uh, connects well with the cover glass and touch sensor. What is this? And <laughs> when it's finished, let's make one process oh, after sorry. the other. Um, there's an inspection and then it goes on the UV curing. So we have two processes. We have our silicon AB wet bonding process and we have a FCA UV um, um, lamination process. And um, so, so through this machine, um, the product more or less is fixed. So after that, you cannot disassemble anymore on the touch panel. The speciality of our optical bonding process is that you still can rework. This looks and so cool, all this stuff. <laughs> this is the world leading class uh, for this industry. Yeah, so, okay, I finished. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, and when there are bubbles, we put it in this um, um, chamber which has an overpressure and it uh, can press all the bubbles um, out of the glue so that at the end there are um, perfect products in. This is the anti-bubble machine. Let's say what, what you ask for, Niklas, for sure. Yeah. You, you know, when you see the products or our factory tour six years ago, um, our point is that we always enjoy improving and that we always um, um, try to become a better technology leader. And so, so what you see here is that was really invented by a German specialist engineer, Raphael. And, and with him we developed the process to, to optically bond large formats. And with this we were the last two years unique and that made us um, very special in the world. And that allowed us to make all the investments. <laughs> last point here is we do um, um, also backlight productions to increase brightness that you can use it outdoor and under um, high brightness. And also there it's a class 1000 area here and we, we um, do, do the whole um, design what you see here from um, the edge LEDs over the um, light guide plates um, over the foils to, to offer um, like what customer wants even now 3500 nits. And then you have a finished product. This one is for example used in NEC buses, um, MIN buses. We can, we can show you later. Okay. So uh, I think so that's cool. enough. <laughs> yeah. For, for, for what now. are these? Sorry, we, we missed one thing. Yeah. What is this machine here? <laughs> what does that do? That's um, uh, that's our dispenser. It's a mixing machine. This is from Germany. And uh, by the way, that you see, we have really everything under our own control. So the glue is produced in, in um, also by us um, with our specialists. And um, um, just this mixing machine is around four hundred thousand dollars. But it well. makes secure that uh, the glue is, is a good quality put on, on the displays and, and, and products. Nice. My, my manager will hate me for showing you this video because basically <laughs> this is one of our company secrets. Oh. But I think it shall be okay. The point is for sure um, from, from seeing something 
and from from really realizing it, there are a lot of processes, and um, we 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 developed really a lot of time to to make this process as well. All right. So finally, you can see me you in a normal shape. You can take off everything right, yeah. right here. This is, uh, by the way, Haibo. Mm -hmm. He he. He is overseeing all our um, production processes in oh, cool. inside this room. Okay, let me turn this off and keep the mic pointed on. So let's have a short. So um, you said Breaking class one thousand, even class, even class um, one yeah. one hundred. We, we we have. Yeah. So that means um, that um, in in a cubic meter um, of of air. You have um, 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 just uh, 100 um, dust particles, right. and um, um, yeah. they are all below 0 0.3 micrometer yeah. lengths. Where are my shoes? Here. Okay. okay. So we made it. Yeah. Again, welcome with a yeah. no <laughs> <with the> normal, yeah. <laughs> normal looking. All and right. uh, for sure, that's quite crazy. We um, do everything in one, one shot. Can I have those, those yeah. shoes? Oh, your shoes, yeah. right? So when Thank you yeah. came first time two thousand three, what said we, um, we we had probably the amount of people uh, we we have now in, in in the clean room, and so well, careful. Oh. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> not not that <laughs> we lose you. While I don't need to keep this on. No, no. Okay, okay. I'll grab the camera. Thank you. Okay, let's continue the tour. Thanks. So here, so here's um, um, let's say our. Um, warehouse area for the um, touch displays that's okay um, can you put the mic just a little bit lower yeah just okay. right there um, right here yeah okay and for example okay this one is now for sure not presented but because I saw it this is a super cool magic mirror we, we do for the US and it will be in some super fancy uh, store in in the US later so when you have Good, good watchers who, who uh, check closely, they, they will find the store later in some uh, the mirror, probably later in, in some news. And what, what said, we are really specialists. Uh, today we don't have a production, and this I really should not have showed on cam camera, but um, we are able to optically beyond even up to 86 or, or 100 inch. And this makes us really special that we invented a process where, where this is possible. And these are our last sendings here before, before Christmas going out, 32-inch optical bonded. Um, I, I think this I can say um, in the last two years we produced more than 20,000 um, touch panels, which I think 100% everyone touched when he ordered in the US or in Germany from a large uh, burger um, fast food chain. So we, we have really now some, some A brands in our portfolio. We are officially not allowed to to name, but so um, these uh, we, funny we cool them. things when you enter the fast food and you click what burger you want, right? You in that business, you you end up uh, configuring it at a, a FATEC touch panel. You and can configure uh, how much mayonnaise you want. This is all produced here. So all all the the <laughs> burger self touch panel you you use, they are all coming here from from this room. Nice. Okay, so. We, we are uh, spread it here in, in the Hongmen Park. It's a little bit funny. When we came here, you, you know, we were still up the hill. And every two years, we, um, we doubled our size. So we, we started with 600 square meter. We, we went to 1,200, 2,500. Hey, Jessa. <laughs> Hello. This is our quality leader. And um, for sure, last time you came, um, we had the full floor here for all our operations. We had our assembly. We had our very small clean room and behind our whole office. And then we started investing a lot. And, and, you know, and uh, the space um, uh, went off. And we, we even tried the boss of the fourth floor here to pay money that he leaves us the fourth floor, but he didn't agree. So we had to take um, uh, two floors up the hill where we drive shortly. And, um, we, we had no chance to, to check somewhere else. We always stay here in the Hongmen Park because we were always really over busy. And this is probably something I, I really want to say. Basically, I wanted to start with it. I have to apologize this year to our customers because some customers had to wait like crazy for, for the products. And 
I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry for it. We, we, we know that waiting for products is, is one of the first worst things you can do. But we were just uh, too busy. Um, you, you see, we built up um, two factories in Sweden. We started, and that's the worst thing, we started a new ERP system. So we, we are running now globally on uh, Navision. And everybody told me starting a new ERP system is, is really troublesome. But I thought, okay, we have already one, it should be okay. But the last half year, it was almost impossible to, to make planning. <coughs> this is the Fatec uh, mobile. The Fatec car. Right. But, just Jess, Jess, are you joined also? Where is Jess? Yeah. Oh, she ran. Ah, yeah. my, my, my people are too. Oh, she <laughs> ran out. <Okay. laughs> so this is a special okay. Fatec car. It's, um, I, I really love this car. It's, um, I have to say it's really the best car I, I've driven so far. So we drive now electric here, but it's like crazy. It's, Whoa! It's, uh, and, Yo! This is... And it has 500 um, horsepower in nice. combined and you can drive 60 kilometers um, um, by, by battery. Wait, let's take her. <laughs> Jessa, come on, join! Otherwise you, <laughs> you are running out of breath. Yeah. And, and um, and it has a two, uh, one more um, motor, so it has two electric. This is a motors. BYD, no? Yeah. And I have to say, it's really the best car. I've, it's better I've than ever a driven. Tesla. Okay, this I don't know, but I, I I think it's better than an Audi Q7 because this, it has also three seats. This screen is cool. Yeah, and you know you have all these features Ooh. like you can move it, or when you make the sport models Vivo Eco, it, it goes orange. So it's really a very 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 funny car with for sure a bird eyes view and and you can you can see everything and um, it's it's the first car we, we had so far three cars in, in in china always buying chinese car manufacturers models and you use it and as like a company car when you sure. pick up customers and stuff and um, i i have to say this one is this one is really the the best car um, um, i've driven and it's the first time that the quality is like a German a German car. So um, I, I can just say congratulations to the Chinese car manufacturer that they 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 improved dramatically in the last ten years. As far as I know, and BYD is the world leader in electric cars. They're like selling highest quantity, but it's mainly in China. Yeah, uh, for sure, China is now the largest market. It's in Shenzhen. You just get a license plate um, now um, when you have an electric car. And all other um, um, car um, yeah. license plates are uh, in a lottery. And, but, but this is what I really want to say. Um, the last 10 years, China changed totally. Uh, a good example is probably when we started 2010, we paid $120 on, on the assembly line to our workers. And today, nobody um, earns less than $600. So, so you have to imagine, let's say, the, the poorest or the low levels worker they increased their salary on a worldwide basis five times and that the country is able to, to provide such a development within, within such a short time, I'm, I'm, I'm really strongly impressed. So 10 years China? China? Yeah, 10 years China. On, on the other side, for How's sure. How's it been so far, <laughs> the Chinese experience? Uh, it's uh, China is, uh, you, you know, it's both, both extremes. You have, um, I think there is no normal, either it's total fantastic or it's a total disaster. And so, I mean, it's a place to do business. And uh, for, for living, I would, uh, I have to say, I would, this is not our company. <laughs> we, we, we run <laughs> shortly through because we, we make a rooftop shoot. But um, let's say for sure China is the right place to be to, to build up a business or it was the la last 10 years. And um, let's say for living, I, I, I would probably prefer to, to live somewhere else. I just had a business friend in Munich who was this weekend going skiing with his, with his um, children and that for sure doesn't, doesn't work here. And that's a pity. So we have now here our outdoor, outdoor test center. And for, for sure that's super important that we, we reproduce industrial touch devices which also shall um, run under a harshest environment. And, and we have so, so um, here our products which, which age for, for um, I, I think this one is already half an hour here, uh, half a year here. No? <laughs> and um, also this one you see it already for sure the, 
The case is, is slowly getting damaged. This is also already more than half a year here. But the important thing is um, the display um, and, and everything still works. So just well. uh, with the rain, whatever happens, yeah. they're fine. So um, th this models, especially here, the um, butterfly solutions we, we have, they are perfectly um, optimized and um, set up for um, working outdoor. And um, they, they have a, the ability that even under IP68 there are no ghost touches. And with IP65 you still can, can yeah, the touch works perfectly, perfectly um, use it. So the touch works, uh, the video, pro yeah. Probably cool video, that's on answer. your YouTube channel? Right, yeah. Our, our YouTube channel always uh, doesn't get so many so many views like 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 yours <laughs> we can <laughs> link to it we'll link this video to well, you well anyhow we we tried uh, jessa we wanted to make a waterproofing video but me, this didn't I, I work yeah okay yeah. okay let's go is further. this the fatex solar panels or no it's um i i like this very much they put um, solar panels on all rooftops here nice i feel like it's probably too um, charge your car too too hot um to have a real good e efficiency but um Okay, so we have then now in, in this um, um, building, um, we have um, two, two floors. And um, I, I think we make a short, uh, short check on the, um, when we are with the quality on the, on the quality team. And then let's go further through, through, through the company. So what's that? Um, we, 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 we doubled every two years our factory size and um, we, we have now um, even in, in Suining um, two, two factories. Um, why? Because what I told you, in Shenzhen we are now operating in Shenzhen with the highest salaries and the highest uh, rent costs for, for, for spaces. And, um, so that's in Sichuan? Right, where, where the spicy food is. Yeah. And, um, so, so to be frank, for example, we talked about the development in China. Theoretically, when you really want to produce cheap, then you could also go now to, to um, Eastern Europe. And um, um, there you pay probably even less. But in China now, it's, it's all about um, high-tech. And for sure you have here the complete uh, supply chain. And you have in China also now a big market um, you, you, you can address. And so we, we set up us that we have here. In Shenzhen now, the, um, our um, technological headquarter. So let's check again, Jesser's area. Um, here we should put Sholly on just the, yeah. the shirts. I think that works. You, shall I help you? Thank you. you. <laughs> All right. And um, so, so um, we, we have in, oh my God. Yeah, this is really funny. You have a good fitting, I think. Yeah, you had a small. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so, so here we have our incoming um, um, material inspection, and that's really what what um, Jesser takes um, um, care about. That. I'm not sure if I. I'm not sure if I'm now still hurt or, or not. But um, really, we take we take the quality test very serious. So we, we have um, machines which are tortured, tortured on the vibration system. Um, also components which are um, on on steady um, vibration. And we, for example. Right now, um, you see it um, tests our glue at minus 70 degrees. Again, minus 70 um, because we um, go on an automotive, automotive um, solution. <laughs> and the requirement is that the glue also survives well under uh, minus 50 degrees. It's not milk. Huh? It's not milk. No, that's our uh, silicon glue. But um, we have um, IK08 testing. That's a, that's a cyber truck test. That's a ball, ball drop test, right? And believe me, this one is really, really heavy. So when, when you check, it's um, a 500 gram ball. Whoa, yeah. heavy. And so our, our products um, survive IK08. We're not going to throw it against standard. your car window, I hope. 
Uh, You're not going to throw it against your car window. Yeah, please not. Yeah, then. Yeah. And, and here we have um, our, um, let's say, long-term aging room that we put uh, products here, which more or less run, run forever to, to check if there are any un normal utilities. So um, again, Jesser is, is setting up this uh, test environment really. I saw very, one of these. Very well. I saw one of these in uh, Seattle. Really? Yeah. Yeah. We are, we, our partner is the number around, one for. It was for, like one of these. Yeah, interactive intercom. We yeah. produce for him every month more than 200 pieces. Nice. Yeah. So. That's a nice one. So um, we, we are doing here an, an incoming test. Then we have our our warehouse. I hope. Let's see if it's looking like a German German warehouse. Hopefully, we are. Um, but um, we are moving now a lot of goods to um, um, Suning for, for for the production. But I, I go first. But um, I think um, it's let's say it's quite quite well organized, you know what it is. And for sure, um, when you have um, the expensive goods, um, they are in an extra room with um, also um, then temperature control. Um, we, we have for sure every day a check if, if the temperature is, is followed up and the humidity. So um, there, there we take quite well care. And now it's- All the again, way down. Huh? All the way down. It should look everywhere good. You want to see? Yeah. It no, 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 no. But you have stuff all the way down there. Yes. It's a lot of stuff. It's really like, uh, Niklas, when, when you came 2013 first time, we, we made the revenue we have now in our warehouse. So, so yeah. we probably that time made around 3 million and was growing to 5 million. And now we have always around 3 million in, in warehouse and we are doing um, overall $25 million revenue. So um, the last 10 years we, we grow in average every year by, by 50%. So I, I hope it's right when I say that you interview now one of the fastest growing touch device manufacturers in the world. And um, but for sure, I have to say, I'm first thankful for, for the people. When, when you look well, a lot of people are um, still here from 2013 video. For sure, most important is my wife. <laughs> And, um, but so it's really um, a work of, of all the people and at Paytech and for sure we, we had a lot of luck for, for which I'm, I'm very thankful and humble. So, so here you have now our, um, how to say, our introduction area. So normally you come from the elevator. And that's actually can, the intro. Kind that's of. the entrance, right. And um, mm -hmm. I think we can take off now the shirts and um, so, so you have for example um, to, to the left a short overview of our factory buildings in, in Sweening. We have in Sweening overall 20,000 square meter production. We have now um, a case manufacturing even with a laser cutting machine, bending. So we produce, I, I show you later, our complete carts in, in, in the case um, factory. All our cases now are coming from, from this factory. And then it's fantastic, it just goes 50 meters forward to the electronics assembly where we have um, then um, um, the assembly of all products. And so uh, let's say, I think here less and less will change, but um, probably the next time we should go to Swinning because this is now really impressive. And um, this is a nice example, Afe builds this up. Afe joined us 2010 as warehouse manager. And he told us always, give me a factory to manage and I will do it better than you. <laughs> so we said, okay, <laughs> let's go. And he's doing, and with um, just 30 years, he do a fantastic job. So it's even bigger than what we see here? It's five times bigger. Five times bigger. Yeah. yeah. But so here is now here's just- Here's the clean room stuff. Yeah, here's the clean room stuff. Here we focus on, um, let's say, the optical bonding, the touch panel production. But the whole assembly now, the um, and um, production happens now in, in Sweeney. We have here just small quantity productions. And probably this is um, what you should, I, I hope your camera can, can see it. Our picture quality is better than from competitors. And that's because there is no air gap between touch panel and panel. But we fill it up with a see-through glue in, in the clean room. And is you have less reflections, the, the brightness is higher. And when you look from the side, it's like the picture is flowing on, on the um, air. And yeah, be fast. You, you, you see, for example, this is my, 
This is my favorite, um, favorite video and uh, comparison. I don't know if you saw it already on, on YouTube. This is our product, no reflections, and that's a competitor. This is our uh, left side picture, total clear, total nice. And to the right, it's uh, the picture of the competitor. It's really no fake. And um, I'm really proud. That this is one of the leading touch device manufacturers. Everybody knows. And we, we um, were now better in, in quality and everything. <coughs> it's because of all that uh, um, bonding yeah. solution we yeah. just saw. Yeah. Lauren is playing in her game time, scandalous. But, but <laughs> that's She's for testing, sure what we set up. Product. It's um, this is a FATEC flat. And I, I mean, that's, I think, the future. You have the Huawei mobile, and it's just a Huawei mobile. And you can play, um, and make your, your mobile um, large with, with uh, so-called USB-C screens. And this is one of it. I, I, I stop your playing, it's, sorry. It's funny because and maybe we did a video last right. year, right? Exactly. And everybody got the idea. Everybody and it's coming now so copied strong. you, right? What I really don't understand is why the mobile companies don't advertise it. It's, you know, this is what Huawei offers. You have at, at Huawei now with a mobile, you, you, you have um, even your working area. You can work, right? And, and use it like a normal, normal PC. And this Apple, for example, doesn't offer. I don't know why the Android phones don't make this as a key marketing. I mean, Every Samsung has it. Yeah, but um, you, you ch when you check the web page, they don't write about it. So, so I feel like, for sure, this is the feature, future, and so, I'm more than happy. So how's it going with that kind um, of a product category for you? Um, I, I have to happening? say, the people still don't buy much of it. Probably with your video, it, it changed. And we, we put it now also in, um, in, in basically all shops everywhere. But OK, let's see. I, I want to show you another one. I have three products I really love. And, and one is a butterfly mix we saw outdoor. They are now the number one um, interactive intercoms in the US. And the, another one is, is the, we, we call it a magic mirror. And so imagine you have this on, we, we have this in a, that's now exactly like it should not be. Let's see. Try one more time. I, I don't know if the microphone um, interrupts it now. So um, yeah. our our employees um, did did um, this as app that you can can um, connect your um, your your mobile screen and uh, what you see on the mobile you you can you you can see um, on on the screen and I imagine how, how nice it is um, when 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 you check okay do I have clear uh, clean uh, clean ears right. And, and um, how, how did I shave my, my bird? Is it good or not? And um, this, is, this is our idea of how, how in future um, the... 13.3 yes. inch behind it's, the Right, the it's 15.6 inch. And we yes. have also, um, but um, we have some controls where you can say, okay, you, you change um, 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 the lights and um, you, you change, um, change uh, put on um, lights. And um, this was all done by an employee, and we, we, we are now um, preparing the software. And when it's ready, so smart home you, you know, it goes for, for being a, a smart home. You can also change um, the backlight brightness, you can put it um, completely off that you have it as, as mirror. And it's very interesting. We have in, um, in Japan now um, three, um, three hotels which start using it to use it as a um, um, hotel room management. And um, I think that's a great idea that you can um, check yourself, but also that you can put on the lights, um, the air conditioner, and, and manage it. So now here we, we have our office building. Probably we go shortly in. I, I go first. And for sure, the mo most important person didn't change my, my, my wife. She gets every time more beautiful when, <laughs> I, when, when, when you film her. And um, for sure, I, I mean, really, that's what, what makes us also um, um, the successful company. I, I run forward and get the project and the idea, and she has a poor job to, to, to keep the company growing behind and, and manage everything. Right now, she's um, getting the ERP running, um, um, uh, Microsoft Navision. She oversees um, PMC and um, Purchase, which, which is um, here, the area. And then we have um, our international sales team. Joanna is, is the one who's, who's always there. She is since 2013 with it. <laughs> and 
Then we have our customer service with um, uh, Susan managing it. Oh, Susan, I could have a funny story about our relationship. <laughs> Seriously, with uh, Susan, I learned most 2016, but that's all what I want to say. And then we, we enter here our um, engineer area with um, Nathan on my side. So, so I sit here, you know him. He, he doesn't change, he's still looking like, like, like all the time before. Um, before I say more, I, I want to show you our, yeah, our big, big, this is yours, our big, big future, hopefully. So, um, this is really what, what I'm really proud. And um, after um, um, being the number one in optical bonding large formats, we are now the number one in interactive shopping carts. And you see here one card, how it is already running in um, 10, 10 shopping supermarkets in, in Germany. And we had 2017, the first test market. We have this year um, the first rollout to, to 10 supermarkets. 10 supermarkets just in individual just in supermarkets. Not the whole, like you don't go in every single Aldi or something like that. Uh, for sure, Not that's, yet. that's our hope, huh, long term. Yeah. Um, but right now we are in 50 supermarkets in Germany. And um, next year it shall be, this year 10, next year it shall be 50. And hopefully after that, um, the chain, I, I can say it, it's in Edeka. So Edeka has 5,000 um, um, supermarkets and they would put it in all supermarkets in Germany, we, we would be a billion dollars. How's it going in those but 10 so far? It's good. So what you do is you have your app, you scan, you see it has a Christmas, it has a Christmas welcome. It's very beautiful. And then the idea is very easy. So you go to your, um, um, to, to the um, supermarket and you say, okay, I, I, I buy the um, coffee and you see it comes. You put it in, we buy Smarties, you scan, and you see Smarties, you put it in, whatever. Okay, more, more, more German things which can be this scanned in a supermarket so I don't cool. have. You have it, and let's scan also the Dahlmeier Prodomo. And the thing is, we have a scale, right? We have a camera, we have the scanner, display, battery, so it runs um, 20 hours even in winter. And then you-, you What does this part do here? And um, this is, um, it's uh, LED light, it shows later when you paid. When you ask for SOS, it changes to um, red, <laughs> I can show you later. And um, so the idea is very easy. You put your bag on it, right? You go scanning the things, put them in. You, you have always here, all the time, your full control about how much you spend, right? You can, you can see it also here, 32 euros. And then you could navigate, for sure this doesn't work here, or you can say you, you pay. And that's really it. You just say pay. You don't have to unpack again or whatever. And, and um, um, you can pay at the register or by credit cards and you go. So it's the most, it could be a now, you see, now I, I, uh, it's, it's waiting for paying. So the LED light starts um, um, blinking and when it's paid, it's, it's um, It could blue. be like uh, one of those just walk out shopping also. This has it, to this be for sure in every supermarket in the world. And, if it this is, is for, for every sure. supermarket, you know, the, the husbands will love go go to the groceries, right? They'll be like, I'll do it, I'll do it. The, the app is even crazy. So um, you can navigate, right? And you can prepare on your mobile phone what you want to buy. And then you have an auto um, navigation through the supermarkets. And now even more, you can share the um, shopping list with, for example, let, let's talk in stereotypes, right? Your husband goes in the supermarket and he shares with um, the, the wife at home, she can put the alcohol out and then he cannot buy the alcohol anymore. <laughs> so, One but, thing I think yeah. you, you, you could, uh, that they could develop potentially is, you know, this, um, when you stay a customer for a long time, they can customize the prices for you. Mm -hmm. So actually you might even get discounts. If you yeah, shop okay. all the time in the same store, Boom, they give you discount on everything. I mean, imagine seriously, um, imagine you, you shop with this to the market and for sure the shopping cart knows, for example, which uh, alcohol you buy. And now you come into the department where wine is sold, for sure, imagine the advertisement budget a wine company would spend to, to reach you here. And if so you buy nine Jack Daniels, you get the tenths for free. Uh, that, like that. that was even here, but uh, this time not. You, you, can get, um, you can get discounts. Okay, what I can show, um, you can ask for, um, for help, SOS, then the LED <laughs> goes red, and the yeah. supermarket person comes. 
So, so um, we, we um, show it first time on the NRF in January in um, New York, and I think this is really, hopefully, the most interesting product on the What's NRF. What's an NRF? Is that the show National about Retailers ah. Foundation? I, cool. I don't go, but go our CEO goes there, uh, hopefully. The coolest shopping cart in the world, yeah, number it's one. It's really like this, yeah. So you are now in that company. Cool. And all done and developed because with these cars. Because yeah. when Amazon does one of their funny stores, it costs like millions. They have to put cameras everywhere in the store. You just add shopping right. carts in the existing shopping, uh, any supermarket, and you're done. For, for sure. First, uh, a lot of companies don't want to share their knowledge with Amazon. So I, I think it's better to that we provide them a software with our partners. And right second is Amazon goes crazy with the hardware investments. Every um, um, cupboard has a scale and whatever. Here we just put it in the cart and it's quite easy. And for sure there is a hidden check. So when you scan something and you put something different in the, in the cart, this is one gem, right? Then for sure there is a silent alarm and somebody would ask you, oh, can I check your bag before you leave? But the main point is you put the things in and the next time you put the things out is at your home. And what I'm really happy is uh, in the engineer department, the people stay. Um, uh, Jin Sung, you have on your um, uh, picture, he started 2010-11. Nick is the latest one, 2013. Wei, 2011. Um, Nathan, 2010. So we have really a core team where we do the, the stuffs. Jin Sung is doing all our PCB designs. And I, I like really stories like this. He started as a repair guy on the assembly line. And now he's our head of, of PCB designs and he really self-told everything by himself. So I, I think he's a genius. Very happy we have now from um, January on also an what engineer. Is what is he working on? Um, <laughs> Ting Pudong. <laughs> he, he don't speak uh, Chinese, yeah, but um, he, he's doing the PCB layout design or check right for now. For one of those. For, um, we, we are working very hard on a new version to, to cut down for sure. This will be, we, we want to produce 100,000, so we have incredible pressure. With the to, end of uh, December, January is very soon, right? Yes, and so, but um, we have um, Lothar, who's, who's now in Germany overseeing the um, R&D, but um, um, this is his team. Then we have with um, Kelvin and his team doing all the um, um, touch panel design. So what you saw produced on fifth floor, he, he designed with, with his team. And um, we have um, with uh, Wei and his assistant um, all the backlight design. So what you saw also the, in the clean room where we, we do the backlight um, assembly, that's all coming out of uh, his head, together with Raphael in, in Germany, who is overseeing our bonding and, and backlight development. And Nick, for example, is doing our um, um, monitor and, and firmware design. And then we have here a team of, um, of our engineers and the cut designers who, who are doing then all the stuff people, people want. And, is the secret and next version product also, maybe? I have to say, this is, we have now too many projects. This is a project. I feel I even don't know. It looks like something for, from, from the US. Um, the US do now a lot of um, um, own uh, specialized uh, requirements. And then we have here our small um, R&D room. For sure, again, you have to imagine everything now in, in, in Swinning. We, we have uh, the big quantity, and here we do the, um, the, the development. The and design R&D. Shenzhen is, my understanding, and you may be able to do very fast time to market, all kinds yeah. of stuff. How fast does it get? Like when you have a new project, yeah. let's say somebody comes and says, I want to do a new uh, touch screen for my house system or something. I, how, how long will it take you? I, I mean, we, we, are, we, are, we are German, so we are too slow for the other Chinese. And I, we don't work on, on Saturdays uh, like, like others do. So um, we, we are the wrong ones, but when you ask me what, what you should do in, in Shenzhen, I told you that I give some, some suggestions. From price point of view, China is not interesting anymore. You can assemble wherever cheaper. I think but here is the electronics development. Electronics, coming. yeah. And um, what, what I think is very interesting what you said. Here is the fastest R&D and uh, a sample build up. Fastest time to market. Right, and so when you have a cool idea, just, just come here and, and, and set it up. And, and bring it, um, bring it uh, to, 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 to market. And what, what I want to show you, for example, shortly is, um, wait, I lost, I have too many screens right now. Where, where? Okay, here we go. Um, we have um, in, the, in the newest version of, um, of um, the um, FATEX flat, we, we have also, um, 
let's write something nice to our Chinese Chinese listeners. So I'm I'm learning learning hardly Chinese. I, Is I that have Merry to say, Christmas yeah, Chinese. No. I don't tell you so. Okay. But uh, you, you see, it has also finger finger um, uh, detention. So this is really a nice product, also to 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 use um, next to um, uh, a lap screen, a lap screen to use with a um, with a notebook or laptop. And um, it's again our Fatec flat. So when when you ask me, right, for China, um, I think in China there was one big change is when Alibaba um, opened for um, business to business companies 2005 to 2010 and suddenly worldwide you could buy really cheap electronic products uh, directly from the manufacturer and this made an incredible boom on the other side I, I came because of this also to China but none of my that time delivery partners still alive but now and this is I think a big revolution is Amazon opens its um, warehouses and hubs for Chinese manufacturers and so um, it's totally clear we focus on let's say a high quality uh, we focus on becoming a brand because for um, the no names, there will be so incredible price, price uh, push and, and hit. Because now anybody can can produce in China and sell di directly to, to to all over the world. And we have here our aging from from the production side. That's important. Um, so all products um, are aged for minimum eight hours before before we um, we, we ship them. They, they, they have again a, um, a vibration earthquake test. machine. Yeah, and here, here, what you saw already, and what we do is um, that we do just a small quantity um, assembly now. Um, also, that more or less 2013. That was all our production, <laughs> and now we take this just as a um, small um, um, products, first time productions. We have a small SMT machine to have prototypes building and um, have here then the things which uh, we, it, it doesn't make sense to send to Sweden um, for, for, for production or where we have some, some special requirements. And so I think this was very short, uh, I don't know, not so short and, and yeah. go through to our company. I think from technology you could see that we developed greatly, we, we, we are innovative, we have two products. We Two, um, two products we, we are now really leading for optical bonding and shopping carts. So I, I hope it makes sense to come often again to always see something exciting new. Can you say some, some, some more stories about so 10 years China and um, this is, I mean, the potential, the sky's the limit, right? This market could be you, you have so much growth, but it could go even so much further, yes, right? Let's say, for, I mean, that's the motivation. First, really, I'm really humbled about how everything worked. We had a lot of luck that, that we come so far. This is not because one guy, but because everything worked well and we find the right ecosystem. What motivates me now is definitely we, we see the potential. We, we are now doing just 25 million. All our competitors do 10 times, 20 times, 50 times more revenue. And I feel like we could really the last 10 years build, uh, let's say, almost the knowledge base up they have. And in some, some parts, we could even be more, uh, more um, innovative. So yes, I, I think we, we have big potential. And I hope we can keep our growth for the next 10 years like we had the last uh, 10 years. But, but I, I mean, that's probably the crazy thing. Um, people tell us, oh my god, you, you grow from, from 0 to 25 million in 10 years. But on the other side, when I see what's going on in China, I feel like we are too, too slow. <laughs> we, we could be far faster. In, in China, in 10 years, the whole society changed. You, you know, um, when we came here, people, I don't know, they smoked while, while they were eating. Now it's total clean. When you, when you 10 years ago walked over the street, it was dangerous. You would be almost killed. Yeah? Now everybody stops at the crosswalk. So it's, it's really like we are here in lifetime seeing how a whole society completely changed, and that's for sure breathtaking. And you post updates on your LinkedIn also? You have followers there? Yes, um, for, for sure. I, I think LinkedIn is a very good tool to, to reach um, and business partners, and we have regular updates. I have to say, I, I um, put most of it on, on LinkedIn, and then the company goes officially two, three months later, so it makes sense to, fo <laughs> to follow me and contact me. and. Um, 
for sure that are great, uh, great um, possibilities for for marketing right now. And uh, the kind of videos you're going to be doing the next few months on your YouTube, for example, it's product videos. For, for sure, your video hopefully is the most important. Yeah. And um, but we 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 promised uh, our um, advisory board that we should put uh, regular product um, product shooting. So I hope in the afternoon we we can do probably some. And yes, we will try to have a regularly update on our product. Right now, we, we have a complete update um, on our rubber frame series, where we um, offer it also with an i5 Intel series. So it's two, three times more um, powerful than, than our actual models. And we also work on an um, embedded update. Um, we have now a complete uh, department in, in Germany, even doing the software, again, for industrial customers. We are able to compile the kernel and do driver developments. For sure, because of this, we are more expensive than, uh, let's say, the typical um, uh, Chinese offerer who just sells something standard. But for that, we have a better um, quality and a better support. What's your embedded time. solution? We have right now still, that's it, we are slower than, than a lot of uh, um, the companies you visit. We still use an all winner V40, but, and, uh, we, but again, we have the full full um, Linux um, source code. And I think this you cannot find in, in China from anybody else. We developed, uh, we invested a lot on this. And we, we go now with an RK3399 solution in the first quarter. Very powerful. Chip, it's very powerful, but let's say this is also no magic. There we just say, okay, for our industrial customers, we provide a really well-designed, completely stable um, solution. Yeah. And if you go Intel or embedded, there's a price difference that might attract some markets. For sure, it's still a big, big, big game. And um, I, I mean, that's what I showed also with the mobile, right? Theoretically, in the next year, you don't need any more any, any PC. The, the mobile is powerful enough for the embedded design, and this will change a lot of things in the industrial world. And how's it going with the New York? Uh, subsidiary or team or partnership. They are this year, uh, busy. They are this year exploding. We, we should. They have a new new office. Right. We had a um, shooting, 2015, 16. Yeah. And um, um, they are this year our strongest grower. And um, so so we have finally a good grip on the um, on the U.S. market. Your office is on Times Square, <laughs> somewhere over there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right, thanks for this tour. Yes. If we did 30 minutes more, it'd be a feature film. Niklas, thank you very much. Right. Always a pleasure to have you.